hey everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be creating a negative space with glitter acrylic using nut polish of course and we have velvet teddy which is m22 from nut polish as mentioned and we're going to get right into it so this design is a little bit more complicated but easy to do you just need patience to do it um and you'll see so when i create the nail beds i'm gonna be doing like a very jagged nail bed design and i'm gonna go in with some gel liner and create um the negative space as we go along and yeah i'll be back For the pinky and the pointer finger, which is index finger, I will be creating just some elongated nail beds for those, but the two middle fingers, I will be creating the negative space design. So now you're going to see me use my brush to kind of manipulate the powder into like some curved jagged edge um, on the nail because I didn't want to do like straight lines. I wanted to have like a little flare if you want to say that uh, with the design. So this is me just creating those jagged curves and stuff on the nail. And once um, that is completed, I'm going to use some gel liner on it. So I am trying to make sure it's as neat as possible because I won't be trying to file this to make it shape properly. So I got to get it right when doing this at this point.
as you can see this is a little tedious but it's well worth it when you see the end results so stick with me and we're gonna see how this turns out As mentioned, I am just gonna do another elongated French on this nail right here, but I actually wanted to just do the glitter, um, the whole nail, but I just said, you know what, let me just match it to the pinky finger, and that's what I did. So now we're adding the gel polish and I'm just adding it around the edge of the nail bed and also I'm going to be doing two layers of the gel polish. So I do one cure for 60 and then I do another and cure again for 60 before I go in with the next set of acrylic powder. So we're gonna go in with OMG 25, which is from the Not Polish Glitter Collection, acrylic glitter collection. Let me make sure I get that right. And it, this one is called Undercover. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this done. And then I'm gonna encapsulate it because I'm gonna go in again with the gel liner. And yeah, so let's watch how this gets done.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the glitter. And once I've encapsulated the glitter, I'm gonna go in with my gel liner and then we'll move on to the next stage of the nail design. So guys, I have been debating if I should keep posting twice a week or just once a week. Um, I've been seeing like a lot of posts on Reddit where people are saying, you know, like they were very active in posting on here long, long, um, long feed posts and stuff like I'm doing and they are getting no traction. And then they, you know, they stop and then all of a sudden they start getting a lot of traction and everything. So, you know, I'm debating if to just do once a week or twice a week, but maybe I'll just go with the flow <laughs> and post, you know, whenever I feel like, but I will still post once a week. But in regards to going with the flow, I'll see if I should post twice or once or three times, just depending on what's going on, my mood and everything. But for now, I'm, uh, you know, going back and forth on the thoughts of doing this. And, you know, let me know your thoughts on this whole, you know, how often should someone post or, you know, whatnot. I'm not saying I'm giving up. I'm just saying maybe I'm just going to do less posts because I used to actually post like almost every day at one point. I think last year I was posting videos every day, um, but I was getting very minimal traction as well. So um, let's see, you know, let me know your thoughts. So I filed and shape offline and you guys will see the final product in a sec.
and i want to say thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe leave a comment below let me know what your thoughts on this nail design and let me know if you think i should keep posting twice a week or just once a week 